Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. So a couple things happened this week that's got me a little bit ecstatic and uh, <laughs> just thinking about something I just said when I tried recording the first time. It was pretty dumb. Well, here you might as well hear it. So a couple things this week has me really Hispanic. Uh, Hispanic. No, I'm ecstatic. Uh, I'm a dummy. So yeah, that was bad. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I'm not Hispanic, but I am ecstatic. So anyways, um, Manjaro has been installed for a week now and I'm really excited about it. It's working perfectly. My GPU is working perfectly. I've had a few updates, nothing major. Everything's running as it should. Um, there's one thing that does not work and it really ticked me off and I almost went back to Ubuntu or to explore something else because of it. And that is the KDEN Live, which is the video editor in the Manjaro repo, does not work. It will, you drop clips into it and the second you add an effect like text or whatever, it freezes and then it just closes and it, it's, the error that I see from what I've debugged so far is a seg fault, and it's just a seg fault core dumped. Not really a lot of details. I tried running it on the NVIDIA GPU, and that didn't make a difference. So for now, I am running the app image. I know it says 17.2 here, but it's actually the app image for the latest one, which is 18.04. I tried running a flat pack too, but it didn't work very well. I've never really played with flat packs much and I don't want to get into a whole other thing, which is why I left snaps with Ubuntu to begin with. Um, so the only downside with this is every time I start it up, I have to go in and change the theme to dark so that it doesn't burn my eyes. But yeah, um, so that's really the only thing wrong so far. There's a couple of other little snags and one was the Intel GPU I had to edit it was let me just uh, think 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 it was in here in here in here there we go my memory's not that bad so in here I had to just add this line here option tear free true so I did that and I rebooted and everything was good. I was just getting a little bit of uh, screen tearing when I was doing video capture. So because I'm screen recording, it's very important to me that there's no flickering and flashing and semi-transparent windows. So that's that was happening with OBS, which is what I use for screen recording software. Um, and at adding that into the config fixed everything and everything works again. So yeah, never had to do anything special with the drivers. There's that one line I had to do to enable OptiRun so that my Optimus graphics can work switchable on the fly. The only thing that I found is sometimes when I close my laptop and I open it, the GPU will be on for whatever reason. Uh, and then really it's just a matter of typing OptiRun G L X gears, GLX gears, and let it run for a couple of seconds, which for some reason Opta Run and GLX gears likes to open on my other screen every single time. Uh, let it run for a couple of seconds, hit escape, and then the the NVIDIA GPU will turn itself off again. So it's just something getting hung up on the boot up. Am I missing anything software-wise coming from Ubuntu? Not at all. I've got Blender installed. I've got KDEN Live working. It was a little bit of a glitch, but it's working. Uh, Adobe Photoshop works perfect in here as well. The splash screen starts in the middle between both screens. I think that is a wine thing. That's not, um, that's not a problem with Manjaro specifically, it, it did that in Ubuntu, I believe too. I don't remember, but it's not important. Uh, it works perfectly. It works like it should and can't really complain. The only thing is I, I had to disable 
um, in here in performance, I had to disable this, use graphics processor. So no real big difference to me. It still works. It's maybe there's like some refreshing or whatever that happens. Um, but see, it's not like super smooth like it would be with the GPU. But to be honest, I don't really care. That doesn't bother me at all. I'm not making animations. I'm making still images. So, hey, it works. Um, software wise, again, um, Oh, mouse battery is low, thank you. VirtualBox works. Uh, I installed Meow, which I made a video on before to clean up your GNOME menu a little bit and organize it. So I dumped a whole bunch of stuff in utilities because Manjaro does have a bunch of stuff. So I dumped it all in here just to clean it up a little bit. If you've never heard of Meow, uh, go check out my other video and Clean up your system. I actually see here um, all these QT things weren't here before, but this is from playing around with KDN Live that it installed this stuff. So I'm going to move those into utilities as well. What I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be using Time Shift. Now, remember, I did a video and it was backups, how to backup, where to backup, the importance of backups. Well, I haven't done it yet. So uh, I believe it was Johan who mentioned it in one of my videos saying that someone else on another channel lost their whole system because they didn't have a backup um, and mentioned something about following your own advice. So I am going to follow my own advice and I will do a backup. I'm going to not go too crazy because most of my stuff is already backed up, right? So I have a whole bunch of stuff on my on my NAS, which is connected to my network. And I'm not worried about the documents and images too much because I back that up. Um, what I do worry about with Manjaro is an update breaking the system. So I, <clears throat> I, I deleted <clears throat> OpenSUSE. Uh, <laughs> I kind of gave up on it completely. I was going to leave it on and try to get it going. And this is where the root for OpenSUSE was. This is just the home folder, which I'm also going to delete. Um, actually, you know what? I can do that now. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything in it, so I'm not going to do that now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ext4 and it's going to be backups, label backups. And I'm going to add that apply. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, where was it? Settings, location, and this is going to be, the, it, I'll have to refresh it, but let me just close it then. So close, let this refresh, find out what it's going to be called. It's not going to be new partition one, it's going to be something else. Okay, so it is SDA5. So SDA5 is an ext4 partition with nothing on it. I just created it. It's 10 gigs. Uh, just so I can show you guys for now, I'm going to do time shift password. So in the settings, location, let me just zoom this in here. Um, so SDA5, which is backups, is where all the backups are going to go. So it's going to just dump everything into this empty partition, which is completely fine with me. And I'm going to schedule it um, probably weekly, I suppose. I, I suppose I could do daily. And I'm going to exclude the home folders, of course, and let it do its thing and back up my system. So that way I'm following my own advice and I won't be crying to you guys complaining about Manjaro because I didn't do backups. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing next. And after I'll, I'll do this after I record this. So I'm going to make sure nothing's in here and then delete it and OpenSUSE will be gone again. Sorry. I love OpenSUSE. I really do. But if I can't get Optimus working, I'm sorry. Uh, other than that, I have all my themes and everything like I usually do. And 
one big thing here is the other day I hit 200,000 views on my channel and I'm at 880 subscribers. So happy days. It's a bit of a milestone, I suppose. So that's another thing that I'm ecstatic about is hitting the 200,000 views and I'm getting very, very close to 1,000 views. I'm hoping it'll be in the next couple of weeks. And uh, to be honest, guys, I'm actually a little nervous about it because I've been reading about what happens when you hit 1K and I guess YouTube's algorithm starts putting your videos a lot Putting your videos out a lot more um so i've really gotta bump up the quality i've gotta you know make sure i'm putting out videos more regularly which is a little hard when you know your job and your life and baby on the way is all getting in the way and summertime's here so i'm, I'm really an outdoorsy person so i like you know camping jogging cycling i like being outdoors so it's really really hard to get this and have other hobbies and conflicting hobbies and all that good stuff. But anyways, I'm going to make it work. What I was getting at was the YouTube algorithm uh, will put your videos out a lot more, will suggest it a lot more. And my worry is if I'm not putting out enough videos, if I'm not putting out enough, you know, good enough quality videos, I'm going to lose out on subscribers and they're not going to subscribe or you know, people will start ignoring my videos because they're going to be like, uh, that Dorian guy again is on my homepage and I don't want to see what he has to say. But anyways, I know that a lot of you guys like what I have to say, which is awesome. I love you all. Last thing, my giveaway is coming up for the USB stick. So be on the lookout for that. And that's it for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed my last few videos. I've been putting a lot more work into it. I'm doing a lot more beginner stuff too. So I try to throw things into that even, you know, a veteran Linux user might find handy. So enough about that. If you want to hear more of my ramblings and whatnot, you can also follow me over on Twitter and shout out to my patrons on Patreon, Carl and George, and shout out to Andreas, my music provider, AKA Mr. Gamer on SoundCloud. His link in my description. Till next time, guys, bash on.